Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video here on Unplugged TV Australia. Very sad news, very sad news. This will be the last time for me and the test lander go to the UQ charger, to the 50 kilowatt DC charger and charge for free. From tomorrow, they will charge 20 cents Australian per kilowatt hour for 50 kilowatt DC fast charge, which is still ridiculous cheap. That is, that is as cheap as at home. That is insanely cheap. But I will take the opportunity today and charge the Tesla to 80%. <laughs> Just because it's free. This is the last day it's free. So why wouldn't you? Get a smiley face. 28 kilometers per hour. 27. Thank you. No smiley face. Was there not a smiley face before? I don't know. Okay, let's see if it's still free. Plug in the good old charger. Start. 52% we have. Set limit 80%. Done. Will take 20 minutes to charge just because it's free. But this is not the reason I'm here today. Oh, I should actually, oh, I can do this later. We've got eight, uh, we've got eight millivolt cell imbalance at the moment while charging with 42 kilowatt, eight millivolt. That's a lot, right? Yeah, in this video, I don't want to talk about uh, DC and AC charging, uh, speed and battery temperatures or so. I want to talk about the cell imbalance or the cell balancing in the Teslas. Let me just adjust this airflow a little bit. Yeah, obviously there are some misconception going on online when the car is actually balancing the battery cells and what is actually happening. Most people think you have to charge the car above a certain threshold to make balancing work, like 90% or even 93, 94, 95% I've read. And people do this on a regular basis to balance the battery. And to be honest, I was under the impression before you have to do this sometimes, even if the, especially when the car is not showing you the correct kilometers anymore. And you have seen my, my attempt to charge to 100% and what it actually did for the recalibration purpose of the kilometers and the range on the display, nothing. So cell imbalance occurs when several battery cells are being charged or discharged in different ways. So you can have all the battery cells on the same level at some stage. And when you start using the batteries, they getting, they will have different state of charges after a while. So some of the batteries will hold the charge a little bit better than others. And over time, this causes a cell imbalance. And what you need to do is you need to balance all the cells and make them as equal as possible. And this is exactly this eight millivolt the car shows us right now while charging. Um, <coughs> usually the car has only two, four or six millivolt difference. And when you consider the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus has about 2,974 little battery cells in it. And there's only a difference of 0.004 volt across all these cells. That is amazing, right? That is an amazing system to keep them all balanced. And when you remember back to the good old times with the Outlander PHEV, it did balancing while charging. When you plug it into AC and it charges, 
It charged to about 80-90% and then the charge almost stopped. The charging slows down to about 100 uh, watts only of charging power. And this is where the uh, cell balancing occurred. So the computer made sure batteries with higher voltage got depleted and it was trying to make all these cells as equal as possible. And exactly the same happens in the Tesla. It happens in fact in any electric car. Every electric car has a cell balancing system. But yes, you have guessed it already, the one in the Tesla is far more advanced as in any other car. From what I could find is all Tesla cars are the only ones with a self-balancing battery. Okay, what does that mean? As I just said, with a PHEV you need to connect it to a charger to make balancing work. And then the computer takes over and controls all the cells and balance them. So this is a bit different in a Tesla because you don't need to connect the car to anything. All Tesla cars have self-balancing batteries. That means they are balancing the battery at any time. The microcontroller in the Teslas checks the battery at any time while driving, while charging, while the car is asleep. It checks it all the time and balance the cells. And I think this is very unique because, and they can only do it because the battery is so big. It is an oversized battery. If you think about the Ionic or the Zoe or any other car with a smaller battery, a Leaf, it wouldn't be possible when the car is parked and then you come back and certainly you've got about 10, 15 kilometers less on the range because the computer had balanced the battery. But in a Tesla, it doesn't matter because the battery is so large, you won't feel this loss of energy. So I looked around and found a couple of videos online, of course, about the balancing in Teslas. One of them was on a German channel and I had a good discussion with... Um, so uh, thank you for all your information, Volker. And he actually posted a link to the Tesla patent they have on the balancing system they put in their cars. I've got this here on my mobile phone. You can see it has all the diagrams in there and explains in all details how it works. So you can read through it. It's only nine page document, so relatively short, but they have they have cases in there. So they, they tell you exactly what happens when and talk about target voltages and minimum voltages and how they get replaced. And the controller inside the battery takes care of all that automatically without you doing anything. So you don't need to charge to a certain threshold or something. It does it all automatically inside the battery already amazing i've never heard of such a system before because usually batteries only balance when you really need to go about 80 or 90 percent state of charge or even charge them up to 100 percent to balance them so what does balancing mean balancing mean you set the cell there's a bit technical now but i'll keep it very short we've got a certain target voltage for all the cells say 4.1 volts so the controller sets 4.1 volts for all cells and then it waits until the battery has reached this 4.1 but this does not mean the cells are balanced even at 4.1 volt if all the cells have 4.1 volt they have still different state of charges so the controller needs to make sure the charge inside the battery is all the same as well and that's why you can never tell for just from the voltage how full or how good the battery is so if everything has 4.1 volt it does not mean they have the same charge the same fill grade and this is what the tesla battery does itself it controls this all by itself without the car being on charged while driving while sleeping while charging while doing watching a video it balances your battery yeah, so I will link the patent down below uh, if I don't forget this again. Uh, have a read through this document. It's very interesting. It's a very simple system actually to do. And um, they walk you through case by case what happens when and have some diagrams, some f uh, some flow charts in there as well. It's a very logical and easy to understand system. So if you are into these things, have a read. Amazing. Yeah, so anyway, we've got only 10 minutes to charge until 80%. It goes quickly up and we also can see on the Tesla dock the uh, battery heating has kicked in again we are burning 3.5 kilowatts in the rear motor heats up the water and the water will be used to um, heat up the battery but I've talked about this many times before right <laughs> 
Okay guys, so far this video about the cell balancing in Tesla. So don't charge your car ever to 100% unless you need the range. But, but still, do you need 100% then? As you see, I charge my car to 60% during the, during the week. If we go for a longer trip, I charge it to 70 or 80% sometimes. Sometimes I leave it on 60%. That gives me over 220 kilometers, totally fine. So there's no reason to charge to a certain threshold to balance the cells. So keep the battery in the healthy middle range between 40 and 70% is optimal. Battery will last forever. Yeah, guys, and let me know down in the description below, what do you think about this unique cell balancing system of Tesla? Never heard of this before? Amazing. So, and now after charging has finished, uh, cell imbalance is down to two millivolts only. So it has balanced the cells while charging. Well, here yeah, you can say an area comes to an end, right? No free charging anymore here. It was the last time. should probably unlock the port <laughs> 16 kilowatt hours yeah so thank you very much UQ getting yeah. as a youtuber I should really learn to charge my cameras really <laughs> it just died well i was going to say thank you very much for to the uq ear and getten for providing this free charging service so far and thank you also to the queensland government for putting all these chargers in place up the coast we will certainly utilize and use them in the future as well when we go for trips but for now on as it is the same price as i charge at home I will just charge at home slowly trickle charge on 9 to 10 amps overnight and happily keep the battery at a limit of 60% for my daily commute because recommendation is set any level for your daily driving needs 50 to 90 any it doesn't need to be over 70 or 80 or 90 or something any level is fine all right guys so far this video and we've got a cell imbalance of two millivolt only after driving back home see the battery is balancing all the time so very nice keep an eye on this figure to find out more and read the link down below for the patent from tesla for their awesome self managing self what is it called self balancing battery very unique all right guys thanks for watching stay charged and we will see us again very soon some more surprises thanks bye bye